Professor Dr. Kanan from Azagold. First of all, thank you very much for having Azagold and myself today. It's a great privilege to be in line with such professionals. Uh, very welcome to the country, and I believe that today is going to be very productive for all the audience. So, in the previous speech, there has been a very solid notice about that historically the grades in C2 metals are decreasing. So, if you go to take a look at the reports that big consultancy firms such as McKinsey, BCG, Deloitte, or others provide, you can see that in mining, starting from 1850 up to today, the average grade in C2 metal has been decreasing from 18 gram per ton, in gold specifically, up to one ton, one gram per ton today, nowadays. So, Azerbaijan is a very happy, happy country because we have some above average, we have around 2.3 2, 2 gram per ton in C2 metals. And that was one of the reasons the other gold was created. So many of you know that historically, Azerbaijan is a country that does the petroleum, so we do oil and gas. But in order to do the economical diversity, it has been uh, decided to create some sort of a national champion in mining industry as well. So the government created other gold. When other gold was created, we, from in a very short time, in three years, we became one of the top three uh, exporters in the country. So now we're leading company in Azerbaijan in non-oil segment. We have, in a global scale, it might not be a very, very big numbers, but in Azerbaijan so far, there has been around $220 million total export value of the goods that has been produced within the country. We have around uh, 4 million gold equivalent ounces of gold in situ metal in all our deposits. It means what? It means that we have various deposits in the country. Each of them has a significant value of deposits. If we convert everything to gold equivalent ounces, and I believe that is the value metric that is required to be, uh, can be used by you, by future engineers. So we have more than 4 million ton in situ metal there. Today, there is only one operating asset in the country. That's why most of the attention of oil uh, is concentrated into that one. You know, most of you here know about the Dashkesan region. It's a west-south region of the country where historically the CCM belt, if you're a geologist, you know uh, more about it, more than me, because I'm not a geologist. So uh, the CCM belt has been a root cause for that specific uh, geological occurrence. That concentration of metals in that region has allowed us to go and to see, to explore potential opportunities in the mining sphere. So, now let's see how we did it, what we did, what was our social economical impact on the region, on the country, and in the general scale of the uh, mining industry in Azerbaijan. So, we now developing, I don't know, I've been at some universities also presenting this. We are now developing another six assets, and each of them are at different study level. It's very important to note here that it's very, uh, it will be very beneficial for students studying here to be able to participate at some levels of studies before the mining actually goes into operation. Because when you do work at preparation phase, you understand all the risks associated with the putting the mine into production. You understand the environmental aspects. Of course, you understand how the geology and economics correspond and what, is the, what it means to have economically viable project. So, in the meanwhile, we have, when you do work at the preparation phase of the project, you can understand what can be the social economical impacts, how HR is being reflected, how, uh, it has been noted in the previous speech as well, how the um, relations management works here, what are the international 
companies that do work in this specific minefield and etc. So it's a huge experience. So I urge, uh, I believe we we have a head of HR, our head of HR here as well. If anyone is interested in potential internship, etc., we can talk over it. I believe some people from here have already been in internship and got a big value from working here. So we are now putting a long-term strategy for not specific mine, but for the all mines in the country. We're working with big names to understand what is going to be the ecosystem of mine industry in Azerbaijan. Can it actually substitute partially the oil economy? Can it be some sort of a competitor to other non-oil industries? And how this is going to be to affect the total uh, landscape of the economy in the country? So for that, we are now working on six different projects. Most of them are re located in that specific lithium belt. Some of them are in Balakan region, that's a more northwest region of Azerbaijan. Actually, we have one of the largest deposits of zinc in Europe by its resources it's called Filischai. We have recently been in Spain before coronavirus. Not so, and uh, we had a pretty huge experience with people who work at mines in Spain because they have one of the largest Spain uh, in Spain has one of the largest deposits in zinc. It dawned on us that actually Azerbaijan from zinc development perspective has a very good uh, potential. So if anyone of in this audience is planning to focus on polymetallic deposits specifically in their career or in their scientific works, you're very welcome to join and export the uh, information we have on our hands here. So all of that wouldn't be possible without actually having a strategic view, strategic approach on how this needs to be worked out. As I said, we're now working with a big company to do a strategic, but for in order to in the mine industry to have a proper long-term planning, you need to understand how much of the total resources are you having on hand now. So now the key aim of other goals is to, to have the all Soviet data, and you know most of the data that is in the country has been coming to us from the GKZ from Soviet times. We as company trying to work with related agencies to digitalize the data. When I call, so when I say digitalize, it means that first of all we need to understand what is we need to electronize the data. So we need to see what are actually papers in electronic format, and then to see what are the digital view on the mine itself, rather than watching on them on the paper. So if we will be success succeeding on successing on this specific aspect, we'll be able to have. Uh, a proper set of projects after which after what we will do some sort of a ranking of the projects and see what comes first what comes next so people who are studying here from their own view can be able to understand okay where Azerbaijan is going to go from the mining perspective do I want to specialize in polymetallic development or I want to specialize on rare metals or on other type of the metals. Is it actually a solid now to do mining? Do I want to work you now in Azerbaijan in mining industry or I want to go abroad? So these are all type of questions that can be asked or answered based on today's other gold work. Uh, there was also another company uh, working in Azerbaijan. So there are only two mining specific companies uh, in the country now. Apparently, we should not forget about the, soci the social part of the mining industry. So, other gold has been pr focusing very much on working throughout the necessary requ HSE requirements, working throughout their social responsibility policy. Actually, last year we have won; uh, we became a national champion in the social responsibility here, and it's mainly due to the fact that we we were able to have first a proper corporate social responsibility policy in place. We were able to have a proper ecological policy in place and we were able to have a proper risk management policy in place. So all this together corresponds to a potential uh, big picture for, for, uh, on social economic aspects. Uh, 
long story short, we had some kind of other uh, ad hoc projects that were mainly to create the ad value in the uh, gold ecosystem. We have issued the, uh, we went to downstream production and issued the uh, so-called bars with local logos on it in order just to un explain to the population that how, what is the process of the production, that the gold, where gold comes, etc. So that was part of our social project. While we were doing the operations, while we were doing our, all our mass, once during, uh, during the excavations, we found out a national heritage. So what happened? Last year, there was a found, uh, the symmetry was found in the Dashkeshan area. So one can think that, okay, I, I have a feasibility project, I should not stop doing any sort of, sort of operations. But from the other side, we saw that this is, it has a huge impact on the social agenda of the country. So we had to stop all our operations at a specific time. And after that, we found out the symmetry that has been 2,000, 3,000 years ago uh, in the beneath the earth. So it helped us to add some value to the um, Azerbaijan national heritage from the perspective of ad giving whatever being found there to the museums, etc. cetera. Uh, one can think that there is a huge potential in Azerbaijan, but it would be more bigger, much bigger potential for Azerbaijan if, it we, would be, if we would be able to have uh, those, m m uh, those mines that we have today in occupied territories. Uh, so, as you know, there are huge deposits. Those who studied the geology historically know that there are huge deposits on his own occupied territories. So now we're working to try out, to sort out this issue and see uh, whether we can expand the other, the government total resource balance through these assets as well. So, the key message that we try to bring today is about that Mining is not only about actually going and digging onto the beneath. It's not only about operations. It's also about your responsibility. It's also about your uh, social agenda. It's also about the maximum uh, adjusted ecosystem, risk adjusted ecosystem. What it means, it means that whenever you do the mining, whenever you do the project planning, whenever you guys going to do some geology, you should not forget about the economical aspects. You should not forget about the social aspects. So sometimes geologists think that it's good to just do a digging, digging, and digging. But economists say, no, let's dig, but let's do it in a most economical manner. So our key message is whenever you go for geology, whenever you go for mining, make sure that all the parts of the puzzle work together in this in synchronized manner. So make sure that you don't only get most of the resources, but make sure that you get most of the resources is the most in, in a most economical manner. So uh, that's story short. We are happy to be here and thank you very much for time allocated. Thank you. Thank you very much.